Hi everyone, it's the Tides Changing here, and welcome to part three of Let's Build a Restaurant. So things look a bit different than they did when we left off, because I just went ahead and figured out the whole wallpaper situation on my own. Because I had a feeling it would take me a while to get to this point, and I was right about that, because it did take me over an hour and a half to get here, which would have been about three parts worth of time, and I feel like three parts of wallpaper is not necessary, and I feel like I spent enough time on it in the last part, so I just want to move past that. So hopefully most of you like what I had here. I tried a whole bunch of different colors on this spot and I just felt like the blue worked the best. And then I do have the orange here for those of you that did want to see orange. I also put the dance floors back in up here because a few of you said that you like them better. And also some of you pointed out that just having the fencing there would make the lighting on the inside look a little bit weird. And I think with this coloring that it does look better. But moving forward, I wanted to fix up the whole roof situation and I wanted to try just having half walls on the roof because I'm not really liking just having the regular roof. I think it looks a little bit bulky there. And uh, oh yeah, so in the last part I did mention something about wanting there not be walls here and Amber reminded me that you can hold down shift and do this, which could work, but the problem is it only goes through, it only goes for about two tiles, which isn't enough for this area. So that's not really gonna work, unfortunately. So because of that, I just wanted to get rid of this and try out using half walls, which I think might look a bit better. That's a bit weird. I guess that's that was one of the wallpapers I tried in the middle here. Uh, but I guess it's just popping through, back through for some weird reason. So in this center area, I'm just gonna put this brick that I was trying out back up. Uh, Cause this is one of the bricks that came with dying out. I might change it to another one, like maybe a deeper red brick that might look a little bit better, like this one. Yeah, let's see how that looks. Hmm. Yeah, as nice as it is to try the dino brick, maybe this one would look better. Although I do think the dino brick looked a bit better, so I'm just gonna go back to that for now and you'll can let me know what you think. Okay, let's get that back there. All right, that's good. Uh, we can get the white here, but maybe we better go with something that goes a bit better with the brick. Uh, so I think I was using this kind. Uh, maybe not that. How about a gray? Okay, I think that gray looks a little bit better, so I'll just use that where you use the brick. And then for right here, I'm just gonna put in the smallest half wall. And then I'll make this the white plaster that I've used elsewhere. And I'll just grab from over here. Yeah, I didn't quite change all the walls I should have changed when I was going through and redoing it. Just because I tried, I tried so many different wallpapers that I just kind of lost track to, track of what I had changed in some spots. So there are a few spots here and there where some other random wallpapers left over, and I'll try to fix those once I, whenever I find them. Uh, but I only want this, yeah, I only want that right there. Okay, I think that works. Now let's also add this trim in here, and I can check to see what it looks like if I just have this. Hmm. I guess it looks fine, but I feel like it looks a little bit better having something that matched that. And I could also just use the, the gray everywhere. Yeah, I'll try just using the gray. Alright, let's also get that over here. And then I'm gonna just change a bit about this area over here. Just because I'm not really too happy with this area right here so I had an idea for how to make it look a little bit better so first of all I'm gonna get rid of the second floor deck and then I'm just gonna have a deck on the first floor and then I was thinking it might look cool to have another one of these over on this side that might balance things out a little bit better and I also think that this new color scheme made this whole thing look better as well but I'm just gonna move this whole thing in a bit oh whoops that did not work right okay let's try this again so I think I just have to grab this down here. Yeah, there we go. Now it should work. And I'll just, ooh, okay. That's a little bit weird. And we don't need this, so I'll just get rid of that. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's freaking out a little bit with the wall colorings. Uh, so we also don't need these things. Uh, so for the wall, I was thinking we could do, do this, just make it look a little bit more interesting rather than having go all the way across like this and then just have this plaster here and then brick right here. And I actually like these windows on here, so I'm just gonna keep those. And I'm also going to grab 
one of the narrow ones and stick them here. And that's another reason why I didn't want to have this area come up to the edge. Because unfortunately they didn't make one of these windows for the shortest wall height. So then it would just look weird if this came to the edge and then... Yeah, that was the trouble I was having before. So I think it looks better just to keep it like this. And then to fill in this spot, I'll just use... Use this, put some brick on it of course. I think hopefully once it's once it's done it'll look a bit better than it did before because I just yeah I just wasn't super happy with this edge so I just want to try out a few things to improve it uh, I'll go with that for the time being I might also change this floor because I'm not sure that's really the best option for this okay I'm not sure what to do for the windows here but I'll figure that out and then I'm just gonna have an outdoor eating area that comes all the way to the edge. I was thinking that this could just be an area with one table on it, so it would just be a private outdoor eating area, like if you have a large party. Let's grab the foundation, also get the flooring, and then I'm just gonna do the... I'm gonna do this kind of like what I did over on this side, so just have the, the walls in the corners, also sort of like what I was doing up on the top floor. Okay, there we go. Also, oh, that's not even the right wallpaper. Okay, there we go, now that's fixed. And then I also wanted to grab the columns for the outside as well. Now that I have this brick instead of the lighter stone that I had there before, I'm thinking it might be better to go with something other than white for these columns, like maybe black. Although I don't want this place to become too dark, but at the same time I feel like the white against this brick just doesn't look as good. So I'm thinking that perhaps what I could do is just mix white in some spots with black in other spots. Like, maybe also make the windows in the areas where there's the brick on the walls black and then have the windows where there's white on the walls white. That might look kind of cool. I mean, I guess every window doesn't have to be the same color. So it might be kind of neat to play with different window colors. So I'll try that out and you all can let me know what you think. And if you don't like it, I can just go back to what I had before. But I also want to change this fencing to black because I think that would look a bit better down here also. And then we'll just put this over on this side. Okay, I think it looks better. And let's also change the stairs and the railings on the stairs. Then I'll fix up the colors elsewhere a little bit. See if I can make this all come together nicely. Because I'm not sure if it's going to come together nicely having different window colorings and all that stuff. But I think it's something I can make work. And it might look sort of cool. Um, and hopefully it won't make this place look too dark. Okay, so we'll just put that there. I have the colorings, so... Hmm... No, I think I'll leave that in the white. Then on the second level, I didn't want to put the black fence up here, but at the same time, I don't really want to keep the same kind of fence in a different color. So instead, what I'm going to do is just put up the half walls, so at least that way I can have something a little bit different. It won't look so odd to go with a different kind of coloring. It looks like we just took out a column, so I'll have to remember to get that back. And then I guess for this, hmm, should I go with the brick or the, the white wall? Well, I can try both. It might be better to go with the white plaster just to keep things from getting a little bit too dark. Yeah, we'll stick with that. And then I think for the... for the top, I'm just gonna go back to... having the white trim on, trim on top. That might look a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I figured it was easier to fix the... fix putting the brick back here than to... just get into all the spaces. Alright, so that's done. Uh, oh, and I also wanted to try out changing the windows on the brick area to... to black, just to do what I was talking about earlier. Okay, and then let's, uh, okay, no, never mind. I got rid of the white trim everywhere that was. I think I had this one. Yeah, oh, whoops. Okay, all right, I want to hold down shift for that so I don't get that everywhere, and then we'll just put that here. Okay. Yeah, I wish there was something that matched the brick a bit better than this. Oh, wait, I didn't have columns here before. Maybe we should put some. Hmm, it might look better if I replace this. I think this I can replace this trim separately. Okay, so this is a, a pretty similar... I don't know about this. Something... Uh... Okay, so what if we put the brick here as well? How does that look? I don't know, I'm just trying to find what looks right for this place. Okay, so how about that? Hmm, that may not actually be bad. 
Then we could try out... Hmm, actually what I might be able to do is just make the trim black. Okay, let's try that. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we got it. Then we could do black trim up top. This might be looking kind of weird. I don't even know what I'm just I'm just trying out things here. And hoping that something looks right. Okay, whoops, that's not what I wanted. There we go. And then we could put that there as well. Okay, um, uh, hmm. Interesting. I, it looks, it looks sort of weird, but I also kind of like it at the same time. Yeah, I'll stick with that. You can let me know what you think of that. You can let me know if you think that looks a little bit odd, but I think it adds some, it adds some interest to the place. Okay, so back to this side, which is still a complete mess. Uh, what was I doing? Okay, first of all, we're gonna need to... Cover up that area with this flooring. Okay, let's pull you out. Okay, there we go, that should be good. So now let's get the half walls up here. So I'm gonna just put this kind all along here and then I'm just gonna put the shorter one coming out here. Okay, that should work. So then let's get the white trim on here. All right, that should be good. And then we wanna make sure to get the wallpaper. Oh, whoops, wrong one. Okay, and I, just, and I was saying I didn't want to spend a ton more time on wallpaper, but I mean, this is just kind of going through and working out the details and really fixing things, but I'm pretty happy with this color scheme. Okay, let's make sure to get that here. We'll get that there. Uh, all right, I already got it down there. Okay, so next to fix this, and then I'm going to just go ahead and switch these to the, the trim that I used over on the other side and also change the window color. Whoops, okay, we need to hit shift. Oh, okay, I changed that one there too. Okay, that's all good. Oh, and then we also have this trim down here, so not completely done yet. Okay, there we go. Actually, was there a, a darker? There's a couple of blackish looking ones. Okay, this one might be more so what I want. I'll go change all them really quick. Okay, that's all straightened out, and I also went ahead and changed the colors of these windows. And something else I was thinking, was that instead of having the smaller one here, I could take and put in a, a taller half wall and then do that kind of a deal in the middle of it. Um, although I was worried that might look a little bit, a little bit too bulky, like too many walls going through here. So it might be better to keep it simple and leave it how I had it before. But I just want to try this really quick and then show you all what that looked like, just in case you want another option to see. Uh, but I do think that these, that this whole half wall thing looks better than the roofs that I had before. Gives this place a more, I guess, a high, or not, what was I think? A more ultra-modern feel than it had before. Okay, so moving on from that, I wanted to do the whole roof thing that I was talking about. So I'm just gonna use the same fencing, do it the same kind of way. And hopefully I'll make that roof that's over on the other side look a bit less out of place, since it'll be on both sides. Okay, so going down here, let's... Let's get this. Alright, and then it should work out perfectly to have two by two sections. Okay, yeah. That looks pretty good. So now we just get the plants in and this should be a little bit quicker to fill in than the other side. So I'm just gonna have a couple of sized up ones and then I'll put in a few non-sized up ones. And where was that? That was right here. I'll just leave that one like that. Okay, so get that there. Uh, let's move this one forward a little bit. Uh, actually, no, let's push that back. Okay, that should be good. So let's get a look at this. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the house is coming along. I feel like it looks a little bit better than it did before. Uh, okay, so let's figure out the whole window situation here. Ooh, does this window... Oh, never mind. That's for the medium wall height. Okay, I want to make sure to have it on the small one. I could use this, but I wanted to use something... Oh, whoops, that's not even... Oh, whoops. Okay, let's put that down. Yeah, that might, that might look fine. Let me just have it go all the way around. Make it black. That could look pretty cool. Yeah, I'm happy with how this place is coming along because at the end of the last part I was kind of feeling a little bit down about how this restaurant was looking. But I'm definitely feeling happier with it now, although it, it did turn out a little bit darker looking on the outside than I meant for it to. But at least we got some whites to keep it brighter. 
I'll also try adding in some bright plants to make things look bright as well. So what I want to do now that I figured out all of that stuff was start on the landscaping in the front. Um, I wanted to have some kind of lighter pavement out here. Maybe we could use this one. Hmm, we're gonna have to find something that goes with Winterberg a bit too. I think there's some some stuff that came with get together in one of these other sections. Okay, yeah, here that is. Uh, but that doesn't. Uh, it it drives me nuts that they didn't come out with floor tiles that look like this, because it just uh, makes things so much easier. Uh, I could try using this, or maybe just one of the lighter concretes would work. Actually, let's go with the coloring of this flooring that's a little bit grayer. I think that would, yeah, that definitely fits in better. And then I'm not going to put any more pavement down for now because I wanted to get a start on the whole plant situation. Just figure out where I'm going to put everything. Um, I might get rid of this fencing though because I was thinking about continuing this around. Or maybe I'll just have flooring around. Actually, never mind what I was saying before. I'm just going to see how this looks. Uh, so I could do this and just have pavement come around like that. Have this piece of plants back here. That could work. But I'm just going to fill this in for now and then see how it all looks. And we don't really need to worry about keeping in the lines or anything like that just because it's all under floor, so it doesn't really matter. So I'll just get that really quick and I'm going to put some some darker dirt underneath it just for a little bit more detail. They're not really going to be able to see it. Actually, let's get some of this in here. Okay, yeah. That looks nice. Alright, so I'm just going to fill this in with a whole bunch of plants. Let's also get some trees. Actually, let me get the trees first. Maybe something taller than that? Ooh, I like this. Okay, yeah, that works. And it might also look nice to have another shorter tree. Oh, there might be two trees too close to each other. We'll, sp we'll space these out a little bit, but I just wanted there to be a ton of plants and trees in the front of this place. I think it'll definitely make it come together more. Okay, so as far as plants go, I'm gonna fill... Let's see how it looks to fill this in. That's going to be all the landscaping that I do in this part. I just wanted to give you all an idea of what I wanted to do as far as landscaping goes before ending this part. I also want to just put some pavement out here so I can get an idea of the space I wanted to fill with plants over on this side. So I could do what I did over here and just have one tile of pavement at the edge of the lot, but since we, since this is a kind of an awkward space to fill with plants, I think it'd be better to have it go up to the building. And then maybe I could have a park bench here or another sign or something like that. You'll can let me know what you think. The last thing I'm going to do is just add in this fencing over here. So I think that's enough done in this part. And I'm much happier with the restaurant now than I was at the end of the last part. Because at the end of the last part, I was worrying that I had ruined the restaurant, which is, you know, probably sounds kind of silly, but I tend to be very critical of myself. And this is where I'm going to end things. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and bye.